The 2017 Summer Chance window just shut with a lot of interesting and expensive signings. Today we'll look at the teams who did the most business and the least business. Our first winner is Everton. They're competing for Europa League last year, but I think their signings will make them qualify for the Europa League this year. They brought in Klaasian from Ajax, who was one of their main parts in their run to the Europa League final last year. And also, they brought in Henny, Henry Onyekuru, who was one of Belgium's most prolific goal scorers last year. Jordan Pickford, who was one of the Premier League's best goalkeepers last year, despite playing for Sunderland. Rene and Michael Keane. And lastly, Gilfrey Sigurdsson, who is a huge factor in having Swansea avoid the job. What a chance window for the Toffees. Our first loser is Arsenal. Arsenal fans have been outraged lately because of Wenger making lots of players unhappy and doing weird tactics and formations that is definitely unlike Arsenal. However, this window didn't impress either. Yes, they brought Kalas Nyak and Lacazette big signings, but the people they sold made, made their signings nothing. Oxley Chamberlain was one of the key assets last year, but he was sold to Liverpool. Snoko was a decent backup, but he had to leave on a free due to his unhappiness. Chesney was one of their best defenders too. Same old Arsenal, but was an even worse team. But the summer transfer window's biggest winner definitely has to be PSG. They controversially purchased Neymar for a fee that is now the world record and the old record from Pogba multiplied by two and a half is almost the fee for Neymar, which is 222 million euros. They also purchased one of the best fullbacks in football, Danny Alves, and on deadline day, lent in the biggest one they could in football, Kylian Mbappe. And they got all this money from investors, but could PSG be the Celtic of League One? Eh, probably not. Back to the downside, where our next loser is Tottenham. They didn't sign anyone they needed, which was a terrible thing to do, especially because they're competing for the Premier League title. And they really did was sell, uh, sorry, all they really did was sell Carrot Walker and they bought, bought Sergio so and Return. There isn't much to say other than they could have made more signings. And our final winner in the 2017 search chance window is Liverpool. Ever Everton's biggest rivals decided to join the action too, with the signings of one of Africa's greatest strikers, Salah, and a youngster who is one of the best players at the U20 World Cup, Solanke. And also, on deadline day, they were able to get Oxley chamberlain He's one of the best finishers and midfielders in the Premier League. These access assets will really help them with their attack, and that is our final winner. And last but not least, we have our last club, specifically our last loser, which is Newcastle United. Now, Newcastle weren't a candidate for this, but it was hard to give a third loser, so we went with Newcastle. Anyway, I chose them because last season, they only made signings that would suit their promotion back to the Premier League. Now that they are in the Premier League, they haven't made any noticeable signings or sales, and because of that, they won't be relegated, and they m but they might do a little worse than expected. Anyway, those were our biggest winners and losers of the 2017 Summer Chance Windows. Who were your biggest winners and losers?